हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू फोरेंसिक एक्सट्रैक्ट एंड दिस इज चैप्टर नंबर 2 ऑफ फोरेंसिक मेडिसिन दैट इज मेडिकल लॉ एंड एथिक्स तो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट ऑल मेडिकल लॉज एंड एथिक्स सो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब फोरेंसिक एक्सट्रैक्ट फॉर सिंपल वीडियोस थैंक यू गाइस Hello guys today's topic is medical law and ethics so first of all what are medical ethics these are moral principles which should guide members of the medical profession in their dealing with each others their patients and the state itself so these are medical principles some moral principles in medical field which guide the medical professions in their dealing with each other their patients and the state these are called as medical ethics then what are medical etiquettes the conventional law of courtesy observed between members of the medical profession these are medical etiquettes now the medical council of india that is devised by uh, different members one member in each state nominated by central government in consultation with concerned state government one member from each university among the members of faculty of medical science then one member of each state where a state medical register is maintained or selected by persons enrolled in said register and seven members are elected from among among as person enrolled in any of the state medical register and eight members are nominated by central government then president and vice president of the council are elected from the members of the council these will hold office for a period not more than 5 year so this is medical council of india different members president and vice president of the council then the various functions of medical council of india first is it it is uh, going to maintain one medical register then it is responsible for all kind of medical education whether undergraduate or postgraduate education recognition of foreign medical qualifications appeal against disciplinary action against profession uh, professionals and can issue warning notice so these are different functions of medical council of india then about state medical council the members elected by registered medical practitioner and those nominated by the state government then these are various functions of state medical council first is to maintain medical register then to take disciplinary action then issuing warning notice now Erase eraser of name can be done after death of the registered practitioner or entries which are made in error and as result of fraud and serious professional misconduct. In these all conditions, one can erase the name of any medical professional from medical register. now known as uh, this this eraser is called as professional death sentence or penal eraser or sometimes referred as professional death sentence then what is warning notice the notice issued by the medical council of india shall constitute professional misconduct rendering him liable for disciplinary action the important offenses are first is adultery then second is advertisement and then abortion addiction to drugs alcohol and association with unqualified person in professional matters so these are six says of important offenses which uh, uh, comes under warning notice so warning notice can be issued on the basis of these offenses done by any physician or practicing doctor now the privileged communication a statement it's a statement made bona fide upon any subject matter by a doctor to the concerned authority due to his duty to protect the interest of community or of the state the doctor should first persuade the patient to obtain consent for privileged communication example like certain infectious disease certain venereal disease servants and employees notifiable disease self interest may be some sort of self interest may be there in case of negligence shoot or some sort of suspected crime so what uh, uh, what is privileged communication is is a statement 
met bona fide upon any subject matter by a doctor with the concerned authority. Now, what is professional negligence? Absence of reasonable care and skill or willful negligence of a practitioner in the treatment of a patient. So, can be classified as civil, criminal, corporate or contributory negligence. Four types of professional negligence are there. The element of negligence are there is absence of duty, election, direct causation or damage. These are four uh, elements of negligence. Then what is professional misconduct? Type of conduct which is reasonably disgraceful or dishonorable by the professional of good repute and competency is called as professional misconduct. The act should be disgraceful or dishonorable act. Then the doctrine of reciprocal actor. The patient need not prove negligence in case where the rules of perhaps reciprocal selector applies, which means the things or facts speaks for itself. For example, giving poisonous medicine carelessly. So this is the things or facts speaks for itself is called as reciprocal locator. So no need to prove when facts or things speaks for itself. Now Novus actress intervenes is a person is responsible not only for his actions but also for the logical consequences of those actions. For example, like leaving a swab or surgical instrument in the abdominal cavity after repair of an internal injury. This may lead to secondary infection and there may be peritonitis and all. So, person is not responsible for uh, for his action but also for the logical consequences of those actions. This is novus actus intervenience. Then these are basic difference between civil and criminal negligence. Civil negligence no specific or clear violation of law need to be proven in case of civil negligence but must have violated a criminal law. Then simple absence of care and skill or uh, skill is there in case of civil negligence gross negligence inattention lack of competence in case of criminal negligence there should be gross negligence then in case of civil negligence consent for act is a good defense but it is not a defense in case of criminal negligence then civil negligence is between two parties criminal negligence between state and doctor civil negligence trial by civil court it is trial by criminal court then in case of civil negligence the doctor is liable to pay damage but in case of criminal negligence, imprisonment with without fine is prescribed. So these are basic difference. Now, what is vicarious liability or otherwise called as respondent superior or let the master answer. An employer is responsible not only for his own negligence, but also for the negligence of his employees. So this, this law is called as respondent superior or let the master answer. Now, consent Consent is defined as an agreement or compliance or permission given voluntarily without any compulsion. The consent is legally valid when it is given freely, voluntarily, without any fear or force. So it is an agreement, compliance or permission given voluntarily without any compulsion. So different types of consent. First is express can be verbal or written and implied consent. Then informed consent, all disclosure must be in language the patient can understand. Physicians have a legal moral and ethical duty to provide all relevant information that enable a patient to either accept or reject the treatment. So all disclosure must be in the language patient can understand by the physician. Now these are important questions from written exam and vivos. First is function of Medical Council of India and State Medical Council and difference between Medical Council of India and State Medical Council. Various differences in function. Difference between civil and criminal negligence. Then definition of infamous conduct or there may be short note on infamous conduct. Privileged communication. Both definition and short note. Definition of vicarious liability. Consent. All short note or specifically on informed consent. Then short note on reciprocal locator. Then these are various multiple choice questions. So first is disciplinary control over registered medical practitioners under state medical council. And second is doctor should not take fee for or issuing the certificates. It can take fee a certificate for lunacy, certificate for illness, but should not take fee for death certificate. Eraser of name of the medical for, uh, of 
name of from medical registered can be done for issuing false certificates any accident or unexpected damage caused to the patient when the doctor is attending the patient is known as unexpected any accident that is unexpected damage caused to the patient is called as therapeutic misadventure thus misadventure happened while undergoing some sort of treatment what is dichotomy it is a splitting of consultation fee is called as dichotomy then what is professional death sentence referred to this is panel eraser of name from medical register this is called as professional death sentence then if hospital providing defective if equipment is causing corporate negligence what is receipt collector it is means uh, is things speaks for itself is receipt collector consent for medical examination is not required in case of physical examination for rape victim consent is required examination of drunken person consent is required but examination of arrested person the consent is not required in case of if we are going to examine a, an arrested person the consent is not required to give evidence in court of law as uh, witness the age of witness in age should be at least more than 12 year for, uh, to give consent age of the witness should be more than 12 year so this is all about medical law and ethics thank you guys thanks for watching and please subscribe to forensic extract